We are in the middle of winter, so of course I'm gonna be talking about vitamin D and kidney health. My name is Jen Hernandez, I am a registered dietitian and I'm the founder of Plant Powered Kidneys. We help kidney patients protect their kidney function through diet and lifestyle changes because dialysis is not inevitable and you can protect your kidney function in any stage. Now let's get into vitamin D. So the first thing to understand about vitamin D is that it is a fat soluble vitamin. What that means is that in order for your body to actually take in vitamin D, you need to have fats in your diet. This is one of the many reasons we recommend including healthy fats in a kidney diet. Now for vitamin D levels in your body, it's ideal to have them at least above 30. Below 30 is considered deficiency or at risk for other health conditions, other health problems, including problems with blood sugars, problems with diabetes, problems with blood pressure or hypertension, problems with cholesterol levels, and it goes on and on and on. Vitamin D is incredibly important for so many health perspectives and health conditions that it's important to be aware of. So now during the beginning of the year when we're not getting a lot of sun, which is one of the places that we get vitamin D, it's a great time to ask your healthcare provider about what your vitamin D levels are. Now, before you jump into thinking about supplements, understand that there is such a thing as too much vitamin D. If you have levels of vitamin D, 80 and plus, you probably don't need a supplement because your body is making and getting enough vitamin D. And yes, you can get vitamin D from a diet. Foods like salmon and sardines have vitamin D in them, as well as eggs, and you can even find them in UV treated mushrooms. Now, fortified milks, including plant milks, and some juices will also have vitamin D there as well. But again, keep in mind, having these with healthy fats in the diet will help your body absorb that vitamin D. So it's incredibly important to include those nutrients with your meal. Now, if you are looking into a supplement, keep in mind that the dose will be provided to you from your provider, and it's really important to schedule a follow-up. Usually, I like to recommend vitamin D levels are, again, checked during the cold winter times and then six months following. You can also follow them based on daylight savings changes, which is a good way to remember it as well, because that is a point where the amount of time that we see the sun can drastically change. Talk with your provider about your vitamin D plan, if you need to have a supplement, how much of that supplement you should have, and for how long, because it's not going to be forever. If you have any questions about vitamin D, we are more than happy to chat with you, and we have a ton of resources on our website at plantpoweredkidneys.com.